Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4, The Wrath of Rio. We are here as uh, Integralist Brazil. We've taken over Argentina, and now we're looking to take over Chile. So last time we took over Argentina, we did what we could there. Now we're lining up to go against Chile. I have till the 8th of October. So, um, actually one thing I want to do is say I'm sorry I had it running a little fast last time. I actually mean to slow it down and take my time more with things, but with battles, you kind of move around quick and you kind of do a lot of things all at once. So I'm going to slow it back down to three. We'll run at that speed for now. Again, typically in normal games, you'll run four to five, but I'm going to try and slow it down so that way everyone can keep up, see what I do, see what my thinking is, and I'll pause it when I do things like this. Because I know last time I kind of just flew through this and was just picking back and forth, back and forth. So my idea was to kind of complete this area right here to get the um, construction and the armaments up. And then I was also working my way down the line over here for the arm support as well, just jumping back and forth. The entire idea of that was just to slowly build up my research and everything else, along with building up the infrastructure and the military to support whatever it is I'm building. So now that I just completed Doctrine, which gives me a 50% bonus off of uh, Land Doctrines, I will look and see what I have next. So next is either more infantry or artillery. Um, negative 50% or yes, 50% bonus for reduction of time ahead penalties or more Land Doctrine. So yeah, kind of cool stuff. Eventually it'll work me down to Special Forces which is bonus for all them, but uh, a lot of that isn't that that important right now. Right about here is where I want to be currently. I could start working on aviation or naval. We're going to probably pass that. Could do military to gain that, uh, that additional population. Or, more importantly, I can keep working on these. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to do infrastructure. Or do I want to do construction? Well, either which way, I want to do these. I want to do these as soon as I can. So I think right now we definitely need to do infrastructure so we can go extra and then extra two. I think these are kind of important. We need to get them up and running because currently, without them, um, yeah, we're kind of hampering ourselves and our research department. So that's how we're going to focus now is going down the extra research slots, and that's why we're picking it for that way. Now, as for this, we want things to slowly move over here to Chile so that we can take over Chile. The US is doing War Plan Orange, so they're going down the whole Embargo Japan tree. We're not too worried about them. So that's good. What is France doing? They are fortifying Algeria. Italy is doing unknown. Britain's doing unknown. That means they're ahead of me in tech and I can't see what they're doing. And uh, Germany's doing the first Vienna Awards. All right, so I'll get back to you in just a second. Um, they're doing women in aviation, and they're doing the stronghold. Alright, so, I'm going to quick look at Japan, Fortress Japan. Alright, so, let's go ahead and take a look at what our options are now for research. Since I just paused it. So we currently have, what did I have going on? We have, uh, support weapons. So if we come all the way over here, that's what's building up now. I could do infantry equipment to improve my, uh, infantry attack. And we're currently in in uh, 38, almost to 39, so I can almost do the weapons too. But that might be uh, might be down the road. I can improve over here. I could do field hospitals, so I lose less men. I could do logistics, so that they use less su uh, supplies. I can improve. Well, I can't really improve them yet. Armor. I mean, arguably, I could advance tanks, but I'm not really ready to use tanks yet. That'll be way down the road. Um, artillery? Well, artillery might not be a bad one. We might want to do interwar artillery. Alternatively, we have more, um, what do you want to call those? Doctrines. Or we can do Navy, Air. Back to engineering. Could do, uh, these things where we can decrypt or encrypt so we can have better uh, detection of things. We could improve our resources by 20% total. Or, I'm thinking, out of all of these, I'm thinking the most important one currently is going to be 
the doctrine. When this finishes off, when one of these finishes off, we'll do weapons one, or the support weapons, and then from there we'll go and do something else. So, so far, so good. Alright, so I'm at 21 out of 24 uh, units over here. I can only put three more into this army, and then I gotta create a new one, which I'll probably position them against. Do I wanna go against Bolivia? Or do I want against Peru? I don't have any claims against them yet. Let's see what each of them has resource wise. Well, they have a bunch of tungsten. They just have oil. They have a lot of oil up in Venezuela. So I'm thinking that we want to probably do Bolivia next after Chile, and then probably do Venezuela. And then we'll clean up what's left in here before moving on and taking out Central America and having to start doing island hopping. Island hopping is going to be problematic, mostly because without, if I flip to the Navy, without this research, which is over a year, it's 1940, you can only land seven troops at a time, I think it is, if even that. It's like really, really low how many troops you can send at a time. So it makes it incredibly difficult with which to do any naval invasions. Alright, so with that said... Let's see here. We are in October. We'll wait one more day and we'll kick off the war against Chile. Mostly because in October 8th, we're out of time. Alright, so here we are. We're in October 7th. We can add you to there. So you're at 22. We're going to go ahead and select you. We're going to declare war to conquer. We'll send that. And then we will tell these guys to kick off. Alright. And while that's going, we'll go ahead and start fabricating on Bolivia while we're at it. Which one should we do? We'll do Laplace. Sure, we'll do that one. Alright, so as we kick this back off, we should see our troops start to slowly march across these borders because we're dealing with mountains, so it's going to mean things are a lot slower. But ideally, we only really want the capital... And then it really is the only points for taking for uh, Chile. So not too overly worried about any of the other stuff to the south. I really just want to come across and grab the, uh, the capital here. Why are you going that way? I don't know. Why is anybody doing anything that is not just taking the capital? Pretty much everything else is pointless. But hey, you do you guys. You do you. So, with a slower war like this, we can actually see things a little better here. Like this, we can see the attack on me. That one didn't go so well for them. Whereas this one, they have two divisions coming at me, but I'm in a very good defensive position, and my troops are just generally much stronger. I have um, a higher skill ranking than them. Just all sorts of good stuff that just work out in my, in my favor. Go there. You go there, you go here, and you come down and help there. And then we'll take the capital, and then that'll pretty much be, uh, be it. Alright, so when you take this over, there we go. If you don't mind splitting back in half, going there. Someone here has to take the capital. I believe you will take the capital. And just like that, we should have all the victory points we need. Or do we? Maybe not. Nope, there we go. Now I have all the victory points I need. So, Chile, we are going to take all states. And just like that, we now have Chile. Done and done. So, one more country added to Brazil. And now, we have all these military factories that we need to start applying. So, do we want to do... We can do one more airplane. Just to start getting that going. We'll have the weapons increase how many more we have three more so we'll put one across the board here and then do I have anything else to add I do not believe so so with that we'll just uh, add one more to the infantry weapons to get more of them and this will eventually swap over to infantry weapons too anyway so it'll kinda work out alright so you my friend we need to send you to be on the front lines of Bolivia because we have a lot of troops they need to get over there and we need to set up a war plan for them so we're going to want to take the capital so what we'll do is we'll do this line of attack 
Just like that. And we're at the point now, well, oops, I didn't complete that line. So like that. So, with that being said, we're at the point now where we're overwhelming our forces. So we have things up here that kind of make uh, different options. We can exercise our troops, which is people start gaining experience and leveling up to higher level of um, combat troop. So we have everything from green, meaning they get a negative penalty to combat, to trained, which is an even, to things like up here where we're regulars, which means they get an additional uh, positive modifier. And then it goes all the way up to rank 5, I believe, but they only gain experience up to rank 2, I think? Yeah, you can only gain up to uh, level 2 with exercise, and then from then on else, it just puts points up here into army experience. So, with that said, there's other things here. So, either we can execute battle plans uh, carefully, which means they're going to very cautiously take pieces all the way up, you know. One at a time, they'll just slowly march across, do their things. You're paused, so let's unpause you. So, what they'll do is they'll just take one territory at a time, slowly work their way up to the line. Moderate is what we've been doing. They kind of do it in a balanced method. And then aggressive is they'll just move, 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 move. If there's open space, they're going to take it. And that's kind of what we want to do right now, is go through that process. So this, actually, this front line kind of sucks. So let's delete this front line and instead make a new one where we come across down like this. We don't want that. We want to come around the river. We'll just do like that. That'll be perfect. All right. So they're getting rolling. And we can add you over here as well. Let us find these aircraft here. You're in south, which is still fine. That's still considered south of that territory. So we're good there. We might want to start getting things up to the Amazon, though. That's probably going to be our next, uh, next pathing. So the United States, I need to worry about what they're doing. They're still in War Plan Orange, which is fine. We're doing Bolivia... And then I probably want to do Brazil after... Uh, not Brazil, I am Brazil. Venezuela, I think, will be next. Once I hit Bolivia, that'll get me a bunch of... What was it again? Tungsten? Let's see if I can pick it back up. Um, yeah, Tungsten, which is... Meh, it's more useful for tanks. We'll use it eventually. I kind of want to get these things, but it's not really a priority at the moment. What I need to do... Netherlands is way over here, so I can't even begin to go to war with them. However, Venezuela. Venezuela's a thing I can hit them. Man, that aluminum would be great. There's a lot of aluminum right here, but I can't go to war against any of those countries. So, instead, chromium. Ooh, good chromium up in Cuba. So Panama's there. The capital, Panama. So we'll take over all this. Yeah, we can take over all this. We won't get the... Uh, the straight, but will at least allow us to move troops over here? No, we can't, because there's no ports. However, we can probably launch naval invasions easily over here to Costa Rica. Well, no, not really, because that's I need to have forces on both sides. Man, that makes it tough going through uh, Central America. So we'll have to reevaluate. We need to probably start building. Uh, probably need to start building some ships. All right. So in the meantime, what can I do? with my points here. Do we want to do small arms research? Yes, because we're going to get behind on that. So there we go. Jumping ahead with our small arms research. Get that rolling. Bolivia, we're planning to invade you. I will do Venezuela next, just to at least get that rolling. So let's do this one where they're... Uh... Ooh, I can't. I need 24 more. Okay, so I just spent all my... Uh... So it costs... What is this again? Uh, political power with which to start doing the um, declarations of war. So that's something that I need to work on is making sure that I have enough, you know, stuff to declare. Obviously, right then and there, I did not. I was a little bit ahead of myself. Ooh, so there's my infrastructure. So that's good. So that will allow me now to go into that extra research slot, which we so desperately need. All right, so here, let's go ahead and put 200 airplanes in. Oh, I don't even have 200. We have a whole... 20. So you... Can you even know you can't? Alright, well, in that case, you guys, instead, go to there. No? You don't want to do that? Okay. 
delete you and instead move you all over here so that you guys nope okay well just defend the home base area then of Brazil alright well I'm not exactly 100% on how planes work I still am struggling to make them work for me and make sense of it in the past I kinda just did okay I'm just gonna do all fighters and that's gonna be my anti-air it's just a crap ton of fighters and it worked out pretty well actually so anyway let's see so do we have enough yet no we need to be up in the 40s I believe it was to be able to start fabricating so we just need to keep watching back and forth they're embargoing Japan that's good so the US will deal with Japan they're kind of ignoring us in the South Americas which is good I'll start slowly taking all this junk over real quick do I want to split this force in two now I think I could take over their territories before they can do any damage to me is what I'm wagering well do I really want to risk it though probably not so let's instead take half of you and move your front line over here and then with you guys draw the line like that but instead of that let's see if we can rearrange this to be like no damn it okay that does not work so let's let's take a look at this this is all 23 divisions okay so I gotta delete everything start from scratch all right so we'll take half of you give you guys the front lines over here and give you the offensive line of uh, the offensive line there we go to do that now for the other half of you whenever that gets uh, situated alright so we got that so let's go ahead and go back over here and do the infantry weapons so we can be ready for weapons too once uh, 1939 hits momentarily. Ooh, and we have more of these. So let's go ahead and start getting more planes. Now let's start doing uh, weapons, because we're going to need those. So what are you guys doing? How many of you are moving up there? There's my support weapons. Alright, so with you, we need to start deciding what we're going to do. Pause it real quick. Could do tanks. No, we want to do artillery. So, or do we want to do something else? This is 39. Um, factory output or production cap or repair speed. Let's do factory output. That's going to be kind of clutch. Let's work on that first. Okay, so you guys then, right? Wrong. So you... you and you you all set up lines here and then we want you to have this foothold like that that's what I'm thinking we'll see how it works out how many troops are gonna be down here not many I definitely did not split that the way I wanted to, but it'll work out anyway. So you get over there. Okay. We will make that work. Ooh, we have free civilian factories now. Alright. Maybe we should start building up some naval yards here. Because we are going to start needing... There we go, we'll do that. So we have two solid things running at once. We're at 46... So that's 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we'll do that. Then when we have 50, we'll then go back here. Like that. So yeah, we're, we're rocking and rolling now. Alright, so Venezuela, we want to start getting that war goal going. So let's start doing that as well. Let's see, where was their capital again? It was... That one. So we'll send that... Start working through that. In the meantime, 
Notice that I split my forces because, yeah, they would have had a lot of forces. They would have probably started making gains in here. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but I'd rather not risk it. I'd rather just have things going. And just It's just playing it safe that way. Why make things more difficult than it has to be? Alright, so we have more military factories. We can put... Do we want to do more planes? Let's do... Yeah, because we have full there. That's filling up quickly. Let's do more planes. I'm going to need to request more aluminum, so we'll do it from France. There we go. That's pretty good. They're not exactly that willing to trade with us, but hey, whatever. It'll work. So once we get Bolivia going, we'll actually commit to that war real quick. In the meantime, we're waiting for Germany here over here to do anything. They're unknown, 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 unknown. Yep, so I'm at the point now where I need to upgrade my decryption so I can see what else is going on. Otherwise, I'll get stuff like this where I won't even see the level of troops. And when that happens, that means I'm my uh, forces are even less willing to start attacking things, which kind of sucks. All right, so you, my friend, we need you to have a commander. We'll give you this guy who attacks on the jungle. And there we go. They just claimed uh, territories. All right, so you start setting up against uh, Venezuela, shall we? And we'll keep sending you reinforcements as they get trained. Now, let's see here. How much longer do we have on you? You should be ready by March 21st of this year. Okay, cool. So soon I will have that up and ready. Very soon, actually. It'll be March. We're already in February. We might get to... Oh, and there we go. There's an extra research slot that I've been waiting for. Let's get the second one going. Because it's, you know, it's absolutely essential to have that up and running. Alright, so let's see what else I should do. Let's get field hospitals going first. Because that'll really help with our manpower needs. Because I don't want to jump if I don't have to to the next one. And then when I get that next research, um, I don't know what I'll do with it. Probably need to start working on a navy. That might be the next thing that we do. Because we need to start doing the landings over in here. It's the only way that we're then going to be able to hit Mexico in these areas. We might have to like hit Mexico and then work our way back down. Kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. Lots and lots and lots of options. Alright, so Bolivia is absolutely surrounded. Once March hits, we'll be able to attack them. Over here, we're going to start adding more and more troops to that front. Got to get our troops ready to take on Venezuela. Ooh, they do have a large force. So you actually might not go so well attacking up there. We might want to move you down to like Uruguay and take care of that. There's a lot of troops down in Uruguay. Or not a lot of troops, but a lot of territories down in Uruguay. I was not ready for that. And Paraguay is also... Now they only have a singular troop that I can see. We'll deal with them in time. First things first. Alright, so you're doing those. Let's start getting destroyers. Destroyers are kind of like... When in doubt, destroyers are kind of like the happy medium of everything you could possibly want. So we'll go with destroyers. Increase our plane production a little more. Could obviously always use more airplanes. Alright, so... We definitely need a bigger navy. We want these guys actually to be... Where did I put them? They're automatic. So, instead of automatic, let's have them come out of Rio, because Rio is... Rio is a port level 7, so we'll do that, and there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now all my new ships will be built here in Rio because it's a port level 7, and then that should be good. San Paulo, Rio, yeah, we're good. We are absolutely good. Okay, so, now we just need to wait till March 21st. We'll hit Bolivia, and that might be the end of this episode, or possibly, we might just, uh, god damn, they have 15, 20, jeez, they have a lot of troops. Whew. Okay, well, that's the case. 
I need a lot more troops. A lot more. <laughs> I was not prepared for how many troops they're going to have up there. But Bolivia first. Take care of Bolivia. That should probably happen before the end of this episode, I'm not mistaken. What's going on here? Germany claiming stuff. Japan doing things. Alright, what is the U.S. doing? Funding Navy. So yeah, they're, they're not messing around with us at all. They're not bothering with the Monroe Doctrine, so we're lucking out big time. And yeah, I can't tell what's going on over here anymore. They're kind of kind of doing their own thing. Germany is doing German stuff, I guess. I don't know. I can't tell what's going on in Europe anymore because I'm so removed and have less uh, less technological stuff. So all we can do is sit there and watch and see what happens over time. In the meantime, though, we already have our battle plan set up. We have our research going. We have more planes we can use. We have a whole 20 some odd planes, so let's... Ooh, there we go, now we're getting more and more planes. So we'll send all of them back. Let's exit out of there. You add all the planes we can. Can't do that, so then they have to go here. So there we go. Get them going over there. How many of these do we have going? We'll do five. This That way it will automatically take care of itself. Um, oil production? I'm not too worried about it. What is the resources again? Well, I guess perhaps I should be because I don't have Venezuela yet. Venezuela is kind of a long way off. Well, now nah. why, why waste the factories? We'll get there pretty quick, to be honest with you. So, there we go. Justifications are set. Let us go to war. We'll actually pause it real quick. Declare war on Bolivia. So there's our war, and we will kick it off. And then we should move relatively quickly through these troops. Oh, so we're actually losing a battle over here. As you can see, we only have one troop. But against their... Their... What was three. But I beat them back rather quickly because of their... Uh, negative modifiers and just my stronger modifiers so we are going at them moving actually pretty quickly because I set it to that higher risk higher uh, reward sort of circumstance so they're just gonna push a lot should be pushing yeah they're pushing just I don't have the fancy line showing up so people are gonna move rather quickly through these areas and terrain like that already marching through they're just taking areas which are basically free don't have to worry about capturing anything Makes it a little easier. So we're currently losing this battle. Why is that? Well, they have a very strong defense right now. They dug in pretty deep. But, that being said, I have much better combat width on them. I have a much better attack value, both of which are going in there now, and they'll slowly break them out. And see, it already flipped. I already have a much stronger attack on them. I'm working my way through. Some of these troops are just kind of hanging out. I don't know what they're doing. They have no stuff assigned. Well, they got missed. So we're just going to go ahead and send you up there. Oh, that's weird. There we go. Assign you guys there. I don't know how they didn't get assigned. So Czechoslovakia. What happened to Czechoslovakia? Um, They just got gobbled up and then split into Slovakia. Well, that sucks. Uh, Germany did their thing, I suppose. And then it should be over here. Yugoslavia submitted part of Italy or submitted part of their bottom region to Italy. So things are uh, happening over there in the European theater. I of course have no influence or sway over any of it. All right, so our aggressive actions are working. We are taking territory behind them, starting to spread them a little thin. I have these guys hopefully marching to the capital relatively quickly. They should get there actually rather soon. If it wasn't for these uh, mountains. Mountains kind of suck. They are what they are. Ooh. We have a new research available. Alright, so now that I've finished our extra researches, I'm going to go ahead and do the last construction. So that way I have all the bonuses I can. We have additional military factories ready. So we will bump up our aircraft one more. And we will bump up... Bump these guys up. They're more important than the convoys. As for the research slot, well, 
Ooh, that'll be finished in two days, so that'll be useful. Let's see what we have here. I think the decryption's kind of important right now. Because without it, we have no idea what's going on anywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and do the decryption. And then in two days, we should get the, uh, the weapons, and then we should immediately switch it to weapon two to start researching that. So that, that way we stay ahead of everybody else in terms of technology for uh, ground war. So we'll go ahead and switch that into this. Get that rolling. And right there we're starting to work on our claims against Venezuela. So that we can eventually hit them when we're ready to. Alright, so. Getting our nice little battle there. Let's go ahead and start fabricating on Paraguay. Just because it'll be a little easier. Where's their capital? Right there. Excellent. So you guys, delete your orders. Instead, go down here. Join. You don't mind joining them. I would like you all to formulate your battle plan. To pretty much just capture... Like that. That's all that matters. So, Venezuela on the other hand, or not Venezuela, Bolivia. They're getting sacked pretty hard. I'm about to take their capital, as you can see here. I have 85 going at them. A singular troop defending against four, one of which is uh, running low on their organization. But still, I have 80 out of 80 for my combat with, so I'm doing great. Uh, and they just don't have much of anything other than their entrenchment. So I'm going to overrun them real quick. And like that, I have their capital, and that war should end momentarily, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, just like that. So, Bolivia, I'm going to take all states, just like before, and done. Boom. I now own Bolivia. So let's go ahead and have you guys set up along the border for Venezuela. And we'll give you guys the mission to go basically like that. That will be our goal. Alright, so... Whoa, Paraguay is communist? What? I didn't even realize that. Then good thing we're going to hit them. Because we want to take communists out of it. Only fascism is the only way to go. Alright, so what should we do? Probably want one more... Where do we want one? Do one more there. For weapons, because we're going to need to swap them, swap them over soon. Might as well increase you. There we go. All right. So I think that's going to wrap it up there. As you can see, we're starting to lay out different things. Let's see how our troops are coming. So we have only 35 artillery missing. Only 40 are being used, but we still have a surplus. Okay, so we have surpluses of everything. And we're at a negative usage. Okay, that's cool. So we should get more troops out here momentarily. We'll just add them right to the uh, Paraguay branch. You are on your way down. Where is all the troops? They have two coming down. Alright, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to hit Venezuela next. Looks like uh, the Wrath of Rio is totally happening down here in South America. We're slowly gobbling up all our neighbors and taking up some uh, some pretty good resources the way that we're doing it. So let's see what we have now. That is our resource map. So we have more iron coming in from Chile. We have a bunch of tungsten coming in from Bolivia. A bunch of tungsten also from here. Some iron. So good start. Good start indeed. And then next we'll get a little bit of iron, a little bit of tungsten, and then a little bit of oil a little bit of tungsten but a lot of oil from Venezuela which I think is gonna be our key thing we'll do that and we'll start cleaning up these guys over here alright thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of my let's play of Hearts of Iron 4 as fascist Brazil I hope you guys enjoyed it catch me next time in the wrath of Rio where we uh, hit up Venezuela alright thanks everybody see you then